Tyreek Wilson completing it. Well in there was Sam Curtis, but Shells come forward with it once again. Plenty of options inside the penalty area. It's opened up here, and just for a second you thought Kafferick was going to get a shot on target, but credit the defending, which was good. The door was slammed shut right in his face. Yeah, as soon as Evan Cafferty picks the ball up here, you see Matty Smith driving where it gives the ball to Evan Cafferty. He's got Anto Breslin 1v1. When he shifts it onto his left side, I'm taking his every chance. Sam Cortis is really well busting a gut to get back in and clear the ball. Brilliant defending from young Sam Cortis. Absolutely top draw from Cortis. Matty Smith lays it off, shot in the edge of the penalty area, and it's dragged just wide by J.R. Lunnick. That was a really good opening. Came out of nowhere, Smith involved. And the finish just wasn't there. Yeah, Shelbourne starting to turn the screw again. It's a ball in from the right wing from Shane Farrell. It gets its way to, to Matty Smith. He swings on it, can't get it. Just drops it off to JJ Looney at the end of the box. It's a decent strike. Just drags it ever so slightly. Dean Linus and the Pats goal would have been thinking this might have been nestling in the corner. And this free kick is going to be taken left-footed by Mulraney, who uh, goes short. That's a beautiful effort! And it's hit the crossbar. What a shot that was from a long, long way out. It was Ben McCormick. I look for all the world that it's going to go into the top corner. Yeah, we have a br brilliant angle here, Bernard, don't we? Mulraney just drops it into Ben McCormick. And again, I was thinking, put the ball into the box with a bit of quality, but he nearly shot me right up, hits the angle of the crossbar in the post. Great strike from Ben McCormick, not far away at all. Scored his first goal of the season against Shamrock Sham Sham Rovers on Monday. He was... And look at paint away from scoring a second a couple of days later. That is the closest we've come. And we've already said that Damien Duff won't be happy with Pat shooting from them sort of areas. Shelbourne will have to get out and get people into the face, you see. They're getting out, they're trying their best, but it's too late. Almost ends up in the back of the net. Linus goes long. They've got him behind here with Forrester. Has McCormick, Forrester has a goal himself, save for the goalkeeper, and the rebound has just got over. It was Doyle. And it's going to be a corner kick. He was the right player in the right place at the right time, but he just had not got the finish. Yeah, as soon as St. Pat's get on the ball here, you see Chris Torres are fighting away, you know he wants to manipulate that ball onto his right foot, he manages to do it. Connor Cairns can't quite gather it, palms it back into a horrible area. Own Doyle is there, and... I do think his follow-up is hitting the target. The Shelbourne defender managed to get enough on it to get it over the crossbar. Connor Cairns, very, very lucky that didn't end up in the back of his own net. Scored a winner in Inchicore earlier on this season. Scored a bag full of goals in this fixture last season. Very close once again from Owen Doyle. Referee just having a word here. Mulraney stands that one up towards the far post and it's gone in the back of the net. It's a wonderful header. Sam Curtis has given St. Pat's the lead. The delivery was majestic, and the header was fine as well, and St. Pat's strike first in the Dublin Derby. First goal of the season for Sam Curtis, the 17-year-old from Navan. And there's huge celebrations from those travelling supporters, and Shelburne have been undone once again from a set play. They have, and you heard me in the first half, Bernard, and I wanted more balls into the box, more balls with quality, because when you put balls of quality in, this is the sort of stuff that can happen. You see the ball here, Mulraney standing up to put it in, he drives the ball into the box, always hard to score from them sort of balls, and you see Sam Curtis, he just walks into the box, doesn't even have to jump too much, the, just meets the ball flush, finds the inside of that corner, very, very difficult for Conor Cairns to get anything on that. Well, a year on from him becoming the youngest ever St. Pat's starter in the modern era when he was just 16 years of age. He has now scored his first goal of the season. He is certainly a player catching the eye and whose star is on the rise, the now Republic of Ireland under-21 international. And that could be a big goal for St. Pat's tonight. It'll be the right boot of Shane Farrell. Shelburne looking for a response in the derby. Lofted in there, it was inviting. McManus been urged to shoot from the home supporters. And he has skied it over the bar. A chance for Shelburne, but it's come and gone.
Everything has got the nod. It's been a tight Dublin derby, but Forrester has been excellent on the ball. Right now, Shelburne looking to be good on the ball. McManus enforced a little bit wider than he would have liked. Back to Moylan, long way out for Jack Moylan. Decent delivery in towards the back post, and it's the side netting. What a chance, and in some ways, perhaps Shelburne would have chosen for that to be the other way around and for Moylan to be on the end of it. But it was a chance. Robinson couldn't make it stick, though. Yeah, you see, when, when Jack Moylan gets the ball, we've been screaming out a quality all night, Bernard. There's that bit of quality that we need. As you say, if Jack Moylan's on the end of that, I think it hits the back of the net. As it is, it's Robinson. He gets a good header on it, just needs to send that back across the goalkeeper. You can't miss near post. It's OK if you miss at the far side, but you can't miss near post. But brilliant, brilliant ball from Jack Moylan. That's what Shelbourne have been waiting on. Ledwich. That's a good delivery in again. We thought there was going to be an opening. Griffin! He gave that some welly. It was a wonderful effort. Everybody in the ground had a big, large intake of breath. And that wasn't too far away from what would have been a spectacular equaliser by Shane Griffin. Caught it so cleanly. Yeah, what a strike. Just on the half volley as well. Hits as sweet as a no. It's only a yard or so over. And around the back, manages to get it get his head on it, he's trying to put it back across the six-yard box, but Dean Linus in the Pats goal is nice and alive and comes and gathers it. I say Pats looking to get in behind here to seal it. It was a big chance, but it's sent over the bar. McManus, heavy touch by Robinson. I say Pats clear their lines. Here's Carty again. Shields the ball well. Chris Forrester has run onto it. Here comes Chris Forrester. He's been forced wide. Chris Forrester has sent it wide. It's going to be a corner kick, though. And well, he's got the man of the match nod. He almost sealed that with the uh, seal of approval in terms of the second goal. They've been in the last chance saloon for a good while here. They'll soon have to check out. The goalkeeper will take the free kick. Here we go. Is there a late equaliser for Shelburne? There goes the full-time whistle. Three points for St. Pat's, which will take them now above Shelburne in the table. And they've done the double over Shelburne this season in the first of the two league meetings between the two sides. It was tight at into core back in February. It was tight here as well. Just the slimmest and narrowest of margins. Just one goal scored. There's the man who scored it. Sam Curtis, the Republic of Ireland underage international, with his first St. Pat's goal of the season, and it's the travelling supporters from Inchicore who will make the journey back across the city in buoyant mood. It's defeat for Damien Duff's Shelburne, a narrow defeat in what was a lively contest. It has finished here, Shelburne nil, St. Pat's won.